I love that when I watched the movie, I was entertained. I had fun. It was like a movie where I just was able to let go and enjoy the movie and um, kind of escape from wherever I was at at that, that moment. I watched the movie and was like, man, this is this is fun. This is dope. <laughs> and, um, you know, it was something about John Wick, the character, too, as far as somebody who was getting revenge for his dog and, 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 and you know, his car. It seemed so like, like, what are you doing? But then you find out it's because his wife gave him those things and it was sentimental. And it's just like a, a movie should be able to take you on a ride. And John Wick took me on a ride that I really loved and enjoyed. So to join that ride now is like, okay, I'm grateful, I'm excited, and I felt like I had to deliver. Yeah, my character's name is, name is Cassian, and um, he's, a, he's a rival to John Wick in a way that not like, oh, he's the villain, but he's more of the, John Wick is the top assassin, so is Cassian. And my character speaks Italian, and um, he's also the head of security for one of the top bosses within this, this assassin world. And, uh, it's fun, man. I, I got to speak Italian and be in Rome and rolling all over fighting Keanu. It was it was a great experience. Oh, this this is you do the work and you go through proper training from early on, like from the basics of just getting your steps together to you know what the footwork to flexibility to then martial arts and jiu-jitsu and then knife fu. So it was intense. It was it was exactly what I wanted it to be because I you know I like the physical things of the, of the aspects of that and then you know to be challenged by the best like Keanu Reeves is one of the best we ever seen do action in films since the Matrix throughout. I play a character called the Bowery King, who um, basically runs and controls another level of the world in which John Wick exists. I love the first movie when I saw it. I told Keanu, I said, look, I know you're training for the next one, and if there's anything at all that I can do, I would love to come do it. So he reached out for Chad, and they found something cool for me to do. We went through a lot together, you know. Uh, we worked really hard for a long time together, and we made something that, that people loved and people continue to love. So, you know, it's... It's, it's special to get to work together. It was really nice. It was really great. Um, I love the suit. They actually had a suit from the first one, so I literally put on the suit from the first film. And John Wick 2 uh, takes place about five days after the first one. So it was actually really kind of connective, and when I put it back on, I could just kind of feel it all come back. Well, I mean, the director, Chad Stahelski, was really interested in opening up the underworld. So we had the world of the Continental from the first one, and now we introduced the High Table. Lawrence Fishburne is playing the Bowery King, so there's even an underworld under the underworld. Lots of layers and levels, um, and it's just a, it's a lot of fun. Um, it's one of the pleasures of the film and pleasures of the role. Um, you know, I try to do as much as I can, and there's judo and jiu-jitsu, and that turns into gun fu where you do both things and driving cars around and sliding them and the weapon work um, and then just the fight scenes it's uh, it's a real pleasure it's a real challenge but the challenge is the gift John's kind of called out of retirement due to a blood oath uh, from someone who's uh, trying to take over one of the big Italian mafias in Rome so he's got to go to Rome and fight a whole bunch of bad guys and do his thing. You know, it's interesting, when I saw the first John Wick, it almost, <laughs> I don't want this to come out the wrong way, but it almost didn't look, it looked Euro, almost European to me, or, or like Korean. Uh, and uh, it's, it was just so beautifully choreographed, and Keanu was just such a physical genius. I mean, it's just, it's breathtaking to watch. And I'm sure it's gonna be more of the same, except bigger and better in the second one. Keanu was a dream. You know, it's interesting, when I first, the two things that struck me, because I'd never met him before, I'd only ever seen him on screen before I worked on John Wick, and the two things that struck me were, one, the first scene that we had together, I remember, he, he, it's his first entrance into the hotel, and he looks at me, and I know it's physically impossible, but I thought his eyes went black, I felt like he looked right through me, and the, it was like, wow, this guy is just really this character. And the other thing was, um, I was really struck just talking to him, how, um, thoughtful and sensitive he is as a human being. So, I mean, I just, I just love Keanu. A roller coaster, a roller coaster once again. 
something special and you know Chad our director and Keanu are awesome and an awesome group of people coming together I just love to work with Keanu I think it's our fifth thing together and it's just a pleasure working with him and Chad our crazy director is a beautiful you know it's it's good clean fun it's a great movie and Keanu is always flying under the radar he's always full of surprises and Keanu doing all his own stunts um, you're gonna see it tenfold in this movie he trained his ass off um, it's a spectacle of action and um, yeah you gotta give it up to him he's an amazing actor who lives it and that's why as a director working with him it's like yeah yeah and a producer on this film working with him is like a blessing it's up there I think it's one of the best experiences you know I've had you know the John Wick universe for sure the creative freedom we have and um, the action that we get to design it's great I think we wanted to see if we had the resources to do the world expansion that we want to do and um, I think everyone from the, on the, from the producers to Lionsgate was all on board and they said, yeah, let's do it, let's do it. And there's always a box you have to fit things in as a filmmaker, but there was so much love for the first film that people allowed us to expand that and you're gonna see some great world building in this movie. No, there's an amazing uh, supporting cast, like Common has, is killing, killing it and there's like a, an incredible fight scene with them that um, again, it goes back to old school. You train the actors, they do it and um, they did an amazing job. First of all, he would never have to ask for a role because we love him. I mean, um, we've known him since the Matrix movies and um, Chad and I were both on those films, but um, he would never have to ask. He just made us aware of his availability, but you know, it, it's all in the family when that comes, when, when Lawrence calls him. I hope a fun experience. Um, you know, we tried to do something that's uh, similar to something you'd find back in the 70s and 80s, just a fun action movie, uh, really dressed really well in a world that hopefully is slightly interesting to some, something that you haven't seen in recent times. Just a really good way of telling like an urban myth, you know, or a Greek mythological tale just wrapped up in really contemporary pretty pictures with some fun action. Hopefully some great characters as well. In my previous career as an action director and a second unit director, I got a, a great opportunity to work with some of the best directors in Hollywood. And I think one of the big lessons you learn is uh, never be the smartest guy in the room. Surround yourself with the best crew. And if you get a great cast, your job becomes very, very easy. And speaking from experience, it's absolutely true. So I just got a great cast and I kind of sat back and um, let them do all the hard work. It was good. It's something we always want to do. It's something that impresses me to see, you know, if you want to call this like the YouTube generation, I think what's fun is to see real people doing real things. I think it vests you more in the character. So when you actually see Keanu Reeves doing things, it makes the character of John Wick a slightly more believable and more of an honest portrayal of who he's. You don't have somebody talking about how good John Wick is. You actually get to see him be good. And I think that builds a little bit of uh, trust between the character and the audience. Honestly, huge fans of uh, Sergio Leone. Akira Kurosawa, uh, some of the Jackie Chan, A's and Simmer stories. Um, honestly, it was so simple. It was so simple. And we liked the simplicity of it. So now it wasn't a uh, twisted ABC plot, so there's intertwining storylines. It was follow the guy and let it be a character driven plot. And that kind of spoke to us. Plus, we felt we couldn't screw it up that bad. <laughs> so I think that was a big thing. It's a wonderful action movie. Uh, I would say old-fashioned in terms of, you know, there are some details uh, that makes me think about, you know, old action movies. My character uh, oh, uh, is an Italian, very bad, bad, bad guy that, you know, is just trying in a movie to just get back, you know, get the power in his hand, and uh, so he wants to use John Wick to, 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 to get this. Oh, I would say, you know, I hope they can have fun, actually, you know, and I think, yes, with this kind of movies, this movie particularly, they will have, you know, a lot of fun. What do I love about the world of John Wick? Uh, well, I fell in love with the first film. They kind of had me the idea of a man going on 
such a revenge journey to kill 83, I think it was, people for killing his dog. I can relate to that. <laughs> Uh, and I, I love that stylistically, uh, you know, the cinematography is so beautiful and so unique and I think that it's visually very appealing to watch and at the same time there's a lot of ass kicking. You know, the first John Wick, I, I slept on it, I, hadn't, I didn't get to see it at the cinema and I just kept hearing about it through word of mouth and I love that that happens, you know, quite often with music but not as often in film and, and I hadn't seen, you know, a lot of, you know, advertisements around like what we've been able to see in, in this case and when I felt like I discovered it, I went around to tell people as well about it and to find out that there was a sequel I was really excited because I wanted to know more about the John Wick world you know I, I got a good sense in the first one but I wanted to know what the coins meant what the codes were what were the rules were there more rules you know how was he going to get out were there repercussions for his actions so you find out a lot more about that. Keanu is a the most one of the most gentle Zen souls that I've ever met he's so kind he's so generous as a scene partner he's very generous uh, and he's Maybe one of the hardest working guys I've ever worked with, so he was very inspiring to work alongside.